Hello learners, you all are welcome to senior secondary program of mathematics. Dear learners, I Dr. Rajendra Kumar Nayak will be discuss about basically the Cartesian system of rectangular coordinates. When talking about rectangular coordinates or that is the part of the geometry that is coordinate geometry and dear learners you might have visit to watch film we can say in the cinema hall or you can see that when we are going traveling by train or we can say plane there must be a seat number. Suppose when we are moving by train that the buggy number that is called the the coach number suppose B1 75 that stand for in the we can say the coach B1, B2, B3 like this B1 your seat is reserved for the 75 number. Similarly, when talking about a point that means we can say a place or a point in the plane when talking about plane very simple we can say plane means there must be two co two dimensional objects for example x coordinate and y coordinate we can say or simply we can say when x coordinate and y coordinates are perpendicular to each other then we will find a we can say coordinate geometry or coordinate plane ok. Let us see when we are talking about suppose we are talking about a sheet number h 12 what we understand when talking about h 12 its simply meaning is the the we can say row h and the the point is particular the sheet number is here 20 to 0. When talking about suppose 17 h 17 that means same way we can say same row the point is h 17 that is sheet number h 17. When talking about h 17 from that point you will find that point with reference to x point reference to y when x we are talking x coordinate it is the horizontal when talking about y coordinate it is the vertical in nature. Let suppose when talking about a point uh, we have plotted on the graph suppose suppose this is the one of the objects how we find out the coordinate of this object that means how far it is from the origin with reference to x coordinate with reference to y coordinate. Suppose this is the point how we have to find out let O is the origin, origin stand from the starting point jahanpur hum suru baat karte hai that is the origin ok 0 se suru hai and 0 se that is the point you know that graph paper all are equal we can say the distance the point are in equal distance 1, 2, 3, 4 like this and we are moving from 0 to 2 because on 2 we have to perpendicularly we have to move upwards then you will find then you will find that objects. We can say this distance is known as the distance on x coordinate from this point we have perpendicular distance on the y coordinate then we get the objects. When talking about the we can say the coordinate of these objects then we will find distance with reference to x coordinate with reference to y coordinate. Simply we can say this is the one of the component we can say component and with reference to x and y. Similarly, any point suppose any point we are going to find out the coordinate of this point and when the point will be stop then we can able to find out the coordinate of this point. When moving we do not know how it is moving and where with reference to point we cannot find out. When it becomes stop with respect to x with respect to y we can find out the coordinate of this point jahan par coordinate ka baat hai yahan pe do component aayega x component and y component and we have to enclose within the bracket how will it be done you just observe suppose we already discuss we have already discuss suppose this is the i can say x axis and this is the origin i can say this is the suppose origin okay from origin the right hand part I can say towards towards right hand side you will find you will find the positive because on number line right hand side are a positive. From origin left part is negative, but this is the horizontal as it is horizontal it will be x it is in x dash. When talking about upwards we will find positive numbers and downwards it will find again negative number. 
let you have observe. Suppose, suppose I would like to tell you, this is known as a Cartesian plane. In Cartesian plane, you will find the horizontal line as well as the vertical line. Horizontal line we call it the x axis and vertical line we call it the y axis like this, like this you will find. Both x axis and y axis are perpendicular at the point, the intersecting point, jahapar dono intersect honge, the intersecting point is known as the origin. Origin se hum jana suru karte hai. origin means starting point, ok. Let us, when talking about the point, we have already told this is the x axis and already told this is the, we can say the y axis, ok. The, we can say the vertical line is y axis, the horizontal line is known as x axis and this is the origin, origin means starting point and suppose all x axis and y axis, this is known as the coordinate axis, ok. Let us see, already told you this is the positive part, we can say x axis on positive part and this is the negative, this is the from backward side from the origin but in horizontal. When talking upward that means 0 to y, it is also positive. When talking negative 0 to y dash, this is downwards. Next we have to observe, this is all total we can say the, we can say the Cartesian plane. Plane when talking, we will find two dimensional objects, that is x axis and y axis. Suppose we are going to find out, the, our objectives is we are going to find out the, we can say coordinate of the point P. When talking about coordinate of the point P, from point P you draw the perpendicular to the horizontal line x axis, ok. Then you measure from 0 to that perpendicular point of perpendicular distance, you will find 0, 3. So, x component it is 0, 3, 3 unit. When talking about y axis from that point P, you again perpendicular to the y axis. That is a distance is known as the we can say y component. Then we can say the coordinate of this point, what will be the coordinate of this point? You will find the coordinate of this point simply I can say this distance is 3. I can say 3 is the first component and B is the or that is 4, distance from 0 to 4, 4, 3, 4, this is the order pair, this is simply a order pair, 3, 4 is an order pair, 3 is the first component, this is the x distance from the origin and 4 is the y component. Then it become I can say the simply an order pair. Then O A is 3, already told you that O B is 4, so that is why the point of we can say the coordinate of point P is 3, 4. When talking about 3, 4, are the 4, 3 are same? No, it will be not exactly same. How it is different? Let us see. When talking about, suppose Q is the another point, ok. When talking about 4, 3, 4, 3 stand for, that means x component is 4, y component is 3. That means from origin on x axis, this is 4 distance, 4 unit and from y on y axis on positive direction it is 3 units. So, we simply generalize or we can say, we can say simply the order pair 3, 4 and 4, 3 are not same, kabhi same nahi hoga, alag alag unka because the position is, is different. You see this point is 3, this point is 4 or we can say the P is here, Q is here. So, we cannot say P and Q are same, ok. So, simply we can say the distance measure along with x axis, suppose 0, 3 or 3 unit is known as abscissa, this is the geometrical term. We can say distance from origin on x axis is known as abscissa, a b s c i double s a abscissa. And suppose I would like to tell you when y component that means distance measure along with y axis is known as ordinate, ok. Dear learners, now we will be discuss one of the very important things, the quadrant. When talking about quadrant, this is we can say quadrant on simply we can say coordinate axis. When talking about coordinate axis, simply you can observe, that is very important things, you just observe, what you observe, dear learners. Let us see, we have already discussed, this is the, 
I can say x y plane this is known as suppose x and this is the x dash this is the suppose y this is the y dash and you know the point of intersection x axis and y axis are perpendicular point of intersection is known as zero this is origin okay you see now we get the four quadrant i can say i can say simply i can say here what the thing is x o x o y this is known as i can say the first quadrant q this is the first quadrant in first quadrant what will find in first quadrant this is known as the first quadrant that is the area of x o y okay now what will find in first quadrant the important thing is here here x component i can say x is greater than 0 because all are positive and y is also greater than 0 because on y line all point are positive so we can say the all component will be plus plus first quadrant me sare jo bhi point bhi aayega jo bhi point lie karega on first quadrant that are all are positive however in case of second quadrant i can say that this is the i can simply the second quadrant second quadrant may that is very simply i can say x dash o y in x dash o y what you will find x component that means i can say all x part i can say are greater than 0 i can say x component all are less than 0 that is the very important things because negative we can say this is the negative so i can say simply x is less than 0 and y is greater than 0 so i can say all points are minus first part is minus second part is plus okay suppose i would like to tell you the third quadrant when talking about third quadrant you will find that what you will find x that is the area is x o y dash so i can say this is simply x dash o y dash what is here the behavior of x and y x is also negative and y is also negative okay because in x component all are negative because it is it we can say the backward part from the origin and it is the we say lower part of the horizontal line so all component will be negative and negative okay however in fourth quadrant when we are moving from the fourth quadrant you will find fourth quadrant what is that is known as x o y dash in fourth quadrant you will find very important thing is i can say that that x is positive greater than 0 y is less than 0 so we can say one first component is positive plus and second part is negative what you observe you can say very simply if you generalize the we can say the quadrant of coordinate axis you will find four quadrant the first quadrant you will find all points are positive and positive in second quadrant you will find one is negative plus minus plus third quadrant you will find all are negative minus minus in fourth quadrant you will find plus minus this is the very important things very important we can say aspect information under the coordinate geometry right now we will be move very important part that is we can say the distance formula or distance between the two point simply i can say distance between the two point on the plane you know there are two things one is plane another is we can say sphere plane means x and y component raega jo space pe raega suppose jo plane urta hai upar hawa mein aapko pata hai wahan pe space hai wahan pe teen three dimensional object aa jayega three component raega x component y component and z component we will be discuss three dimensional geometry but this is the two dimensional geometry because we are dealing with x component and y component now when talking about the distance formula we can say distance between the two point you will find suppose very simply i can say suppose this is the one of the point 
this is the another point. The question is, suppose this is the point A, this is the point B. Now how will you find, suppose this is coordinate of x1, y1 and this is the coordinate of x2, y2. Now question is, how we have to find the distance between A, B or we can say what will be the length of A, B or distance of A, B, how we have to find. There will be a formula and this part will be discussed how we have to find the distance between the two points. When talking about distance between the two point, important thing is suppose P is the point Q is the another point. P point the coordinate is we can say x1, y1, P Q is the another point which is the coordinates are x2, y2. Let us see when talking about the distance of P Q that is the I can say distance of P Q this like. Now when talking about P Q distance we are going to find out you first part is when you are generating the formula, you have to draw the perpendicular from Q to x axis, suppose this is Q n. Now when talking about P r is the another perpendicular distance from P to on Q n, okay. The thing is we are going to find out the distance of P Q. Now you just observe the question is PQR, now is a right angle triangle, okay. Right angle triangle, it now become a right angle triangle and PR and P is a, I can say the rectangle because one of the angle is 90 degree. Why it is a right angle triangle? Because one of the angle is 90 degree, so PQR is the right angle triangle. And when talking about in the right angle triangle, by the Pythagoras theorem, we already know that the square of hypotenuse is equal to the square of base plus square of the we can say the perpendicular point, perpendicular distance. So P R square which equal to P I can say P R square plus Q R square. Okay, as per the I can say very simply I can say as per the hyp hypotenuse formula that is Pythagoras formula. Now P R is what is the distance of P R? P R is I can say total is x2 and x2 minus x1. When talking about qr, the distance is simply y2 minus y1. So distance of pq, very simply I can say pq square which equal to pr square minus qr square or simply I can say x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. When we are going to find pq, that means it will be square root or simply I can say square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 whole square ka square root. So now we will find this is the very simply I can say the distance of a PQ is the x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 whole square cos we can say square root. That means this is the this is difference PQ difference. Okay. Now we will move suppose how we have to find out I can say simply the distance between the two point when the coordinate of the two points is given. When talking about two points, the coordinate is given that suppose, suppose A is the point, let us see observe one of the important things. Suppose A is the point, the coordinate is given 14 and 3, okay. B is the another point, the coordinate is given 10 and 6, okay. Now question is, what is the length of AB or we can say, suppose this is the point A, this is the point B what is the length of AB or we can say distance between the point A and B, okay. When we find out the distance between the two points, we have to form, we, uh, we can say apply the distance formula. Um, distance formula ko apply karna hai, okay. When we are going to apply the formula, that is I can say AB, we already know that, what we know that x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 that formula I would like to tell you x2 minus x1 ka whole square plus y2 minus y1 ka whole square ka square root. That means I can say what is the x2 is here x1 y1 x2 y2 I can say 10 minus 4 ka whole square plus 6 minus 3 ka whole square ka square root I can write that is 10 minus 4. 6, yeah, 10 minus 14, 10 minus 14. That means minus 4 whole square, that is 16, 16 plus 9 square root, I can say 
that is square root of 25, I can say write the 5 unit. So, simply learners, I can say the distance between two points by using the distance formula, we can easily find out the distance of here the point A B is 5 unit. Okay. Now, suppose we are moving the another concept that is very important things, another concept that is related to I can say that is distance formula. Suppose, suppose P Q R simply I can say simply or we can say P Q R, suppose P Q R I can say is a right angle triangle. Okay. When talking about right angle triangle, important thing is the one of the angle is 90 degree. When talking about one of the angle is 90 degree, you remember like this. I can say suppose this is the triangle P Q R and one of the angle will be 90 degree that part we know that. The, the question is the coordinate of P is suppose given minus 1 minus 1. The coordinate of Q is given 2, 3 and R is given minus 2, 6. Okay. Now, question is the vertices of triangle is already given. The question is asking that you have to prove whether this is the right angle or not. We know that in the right angle triangle, the hypotenuse whole square which is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. So, if, if, if I would like to prove Agar may prove kar sakta hon ki P R square simply I can say suppose P R square which is equal to P Q square plus Q R square. Then I can prove this is the right angle triangle by the Pythagoras theorem. Now, the question is what is the value of P R square? You will find P R square which is equal to I can say by putting the distance formula I can say P R. Okay. You will find minus 2 minus of minus 1 whole square plus 6 minus of minus 1 that means plus 1 whole square you will find square root the square root of 550, 50. Again you will find P Q square, P Q square that means I can say P R this is not P Q P R. Again, suppose I would like to pick you, you will find square root of 25. And suppose you will find QR, you will again find square root of 25. Now, we have find, what you find here? Important result is now you have find that is very important things that is I can say that PR square which is equal to 50 and I can say PQ square plus QR square, again you will find 25 plus 25 because square root of whole square, again the number you will find that is 50. So, this, these are all equal. So, I can say PR square equal to PQ square plus QR square, hence angle Q is the right angle triangle and we can generalize here the triangle PQR is in a right angle triangle. Okay. And this is only probe, we have probe by using the distance formula. Now, we have to move to discuss about I can say the section formula. When talking about section formula, the question is very important thing is I can say that section formula means I can say suppose this is the line, suppose L 1, L I can say this is the line suppose L 1. Okay. These are the two point, A point is given suppose X 1 y 1 and b is the point suppose x 2 y 2, x 2 and y 2. R with the suppose one of the point the coordinate is given x y. Okay. Now, how we have to find the coordinate of x y? The coordinate of x first component will be fine. Suppose it is divided, r is divided in the ratio of m is to n. Suppose m is to m is to n you will find x equal to m x 2 plus n x 1 divided by m plus n. And important thing is this is if the internal division is there, if the external division you will find m x 2 minus n x 1 by m minus n. 
the component of pop y you will be m y 2 plus n y 1 divided by m plus n. Okay. If external division in place of positive it become negative otherwise other component will be remain same. Now, we will take a short example it will be better to you have to understand. Find the coordinate of point which divide the line segment joining the point 4 to this is the one of the line suppose this is the line I can say I can back now the line is given here suppose one component is 4 minus 2 and minus 3 minus 5 minus 3 5 ok. Suppose this is the line A B ok R is the any point which is divide in the ratio which is the divide in the ratio I can say 2 is to 3 ok. Now question is what is the value of value of x y that means component of x and y or we can say coordinate of r. Now, x component will be very simply I can say m x 2 here m is 2 n equal to 3. When talking about simply m x 2 that means I can say 2 into x 1 y 1 x 2 y 2 I can say m x 2 that means 2 into minus 3 m x 2 plus n x 1 that means n is here 3 n x 1 is I can say 4 3 into 4 divided by m plus n that means I can say simply 2 plus 3. Now, 2 into minus 3 I can say minus 6 plus 12 by 2 plus 3 I can say 6 by 5. The coordinate of x when talking about coordinate of y you will find m y 2 this is the y 1 this is the y 2 I can say m means 2 2 into y 2 value is given 5 plus n is given 3 into y 1 y 1 is I can say x 1 y 1 that means minus 2 divided by 2 plus 3 that is m plus n again you will find 5 into 2 10 10 minus 6 divided by 5 that means I can say 4 by 5. Now, what is the coordinate of x y if I suppose to be generalized you will find the coordinate of x y which is equal to the coordinate of x is 6 by 5 coordinate of y equal to 4 by 5. So, I can say here the coordinate of x y which is equal to 6 by 5 comma 4 by 5. That means by using the section formula we can able to find out find out the value of I can say the dividing coordinate coordinate that is x and y suppose r is divided in the ratio of m is to n. Dear learners we have discussed about exactly what coordinate axis is I can say that section formula distance formula that part we have discussed right now will be a short break then after we will be more discuss about the different component of we can say the coordinate axis. Thank you learners. Thank you.